Hello and welcome to this week's Angelical Card Reading for week commencing the 29th of April 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your Divine Presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, to raise your consciousness, to understand why you are here, take those steps on that spiritual path, come out of that spiritual closet, to become the person you were supposed to become in this lifetime so that you can spread your wings and soar. Now this week we're going to be using the Archangel Oracle Cards by Diana Cooper. But as always before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so so much. And with that in mind, um, please do uh, check out everything that I'm offering at the moment, all my workshops, um, the FLP training that's taking place in July, but also you get to meet me in person if you so wish. Um, I'm going to be down at the Detling Wellbeing event in June and I'm going to be at the Little Horse Shard at the um, Feed Your Soul event um, in July. So if you want to come, have some Angelic Crakey with me, discounted price so I'm for being at the, uh, at the events, or just have a chat with me or say hello because you've seen me on here, then please feel free. Otherwise, yeah, just check out my services. I always work in person or online. So as always, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their high school for week commencing the 29th of April 2024? What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their high school for week commencing the 29th of April 2024? Okay. Thought they were going to make me work for them today, but once this idea is coming out, which is always good, we get those ones come out. Okay, so today we have got Archangel Michael. Step into your power, be true to yourself. Lady Gaia, your challenges are lessons. You are loved and welcome on earth. Oops. And the cherubim, look to the stars, accept keys and codes of stellar wisdom. Ooh, so that went really bright then. I like that. We can go really bright. Okay. So what the cards are saying for um, you this week is that this is a week for you to stand in your power, to step up and go, hey, well, this is who I am. This is who I want to be. I am going to walk my purpose in this lifetime and I'm not going to allow others to bring me down, to not be able to speak my truth um, to myself. And know that you are loved and welcome here on earth and that any challenge that comes in is a lesson you know, everything that happens in our life is a lesson. That's why we are here to learn, you know. And if you stand um, in your true self, you know, you stand in your power, these challenges become so much easier. There are lessons that um, you can learn and understand from and won't affect you as much. But you've got to stand in your true power to do that and know that you are supported fully on earth. Um, you know, not just from Gaia, but from the angels, archangels, ascended beings, galactic beings, you know, every elemental you can think of, you are here being supported at this moment in time. So, you know, take that, take those steps to be your true self and to um, go and to navigate life's lessons that are being given to you. And look to the stars, to the galactic beings, to the heavens, to the universe. You know, there is wisdom and guidance there. And that guidance and wisdom is always coming to us. But we're often so busy that we don't actually see that. So this week, you know, take the time, you know, look out into the night sky. Um, if you get to the chance to see stars, um, you know, look at the stars. Just really connect with the cosmic wisdom with the universe, the energy um, of, of the earth, you know, maybe um, go to a planetarium or, you know, 
look online. You know, there are so many different um, telescopes and everything that are tracking night skies up in the up in up in the uh, air. You know, uh, out you know just outside Earth in space. So go and watch those. Start connecting more with the cosmic energies um, that are around us at this time, and you'll find that they will help you to actually be true to yourself and to um, go through those challenges really easily to learn those lessons and understand from them. So, yeah, this is a week for you to stand in your, in your power, be true to yourself. Who are you and what do you want in your life? What do you want to achieve? See your life uh, here on earth as lessons, not challenges. They're lessons to be learnt from. And know that you are fully loved and supported by every um, elemental, by Gaia, you know, by, by every living thing of 100% pure light and love. And look to the, to the stars, to the universe for guidance, for wisdom. Play with your dreams, your imagination. And you'll find that if, you're, if you do all of that this week, you really will um, be true to yourself and you will bring in what you need to bring into your life at this moment in time. So as always, this is my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely different interpretation and that's absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So if you do get a different message, um, or one card stands out more than the other, then please do let me know. I always reply to everyone in the comments, or if you message me privately, I always reply privately. If the cards made sense, let me know as well. Um, I always like to hear from you. And of course, if one card does stand out, meditate on it. See what you can see in the card, what the words say to you. So I'll show you the cards again. We have Archangel Michael, stand in your power, be true to yourself. We have Lady Gaia. Your challenges are lessons. You are loved and welcome on earth. And you know, can go out and connect with nature. And the cherubim. Look to the stars, accept keys and codes of stellar wisdom. Wisdom and guidance is always coming in. Take the time to actually sit with it, to understand it, to meditate with it. So I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, as always, um, please do check out everything that I have to offer. And of course, um, do check out my show Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on Sunday, is taking place on Monday the 29th. If you're watching on Monday 29th, it's taking place at 8pm UK time. And if you're watching later in the week, hey, watch the replay. Um, my guest is the beautiful Melissa Keenan, who will be talking about be princess, goddesses and heavenly minds. So that should be a very interesting conversation. I'm really looking forward to it. So have a wonderful week. Take care and I'll speak to you next week. Bye.